And the last question I get asked most of all when it comes to any video, any comment on YouTube is, when is a Microsoft Flight Simulator going to be released? Shane here, Oz Flight Simmer. Welcome to another video. And we are not in a simulator today at all. We're actually in my office here. So just behind me over there is where I make all my flight simming videos. And as you can see a little bit behind me there, some of my aviation and flight simming stuff. But hey, we've had a lot of new uh, subscribers to the channel and a lot of you guys have been following me for a very long time and it is much appreciated. So I thought with everything going on in the world, maybe it might be time for me to shed some light on on myself a little bit, answer some questions. So I threw out a Q&A um, over in the YouTube comment section that said, would you like to ask any questions? If I get enough, I'll make a video. And funny enough, we had over about 150 comments. A lot of you people asked a one comment. So I will address that and I wonder what that might be. It's probably about, about Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 or Microsoft Flight Simulator. So. As we all know, you guys like to spam me in the comments when I say 2020 or anything like that. But um, I'll try to answer those questions. So there was 150 in there. I won't be able to answer all of those, unfortunately. But I tell you what, the ones that I don't answer in this video, I'll try to go back and answer um, back in the um, comment section. But before we get into um, the q and A, I I'd just like to say a special thanks to all the Ozflight Simmer members over at the YouTube channel. I really appreciate uh, your extra support. You guys pay a little bit extra um, each month to help support me to create as much content and for that you get a couple of perks but um, uh, thank you very much it's much appreciated and if you guys want to become a member and help support me make as much comment uh, content as possible for you guys um, I'll leave a link in the description and you can go and check out um, uh, that one but so the first one goes out to Sultan Ranshan Oh, I can't even say, but I'll leave it up the screen anyway. You guys can pick on me in the comments about um, my word pronunciations and names. I'm going to butcher them all anyway. But he actually asks, are you an Airbus or a, a Boeing person? Well, oh, I would have to say in the simming world, I'm a, a Boeing man. Yeah, when it comes to flying, I pretty much fly Boeing. I can fly Airbuses just a little bit, but I just find that Boeing's a bit more hands-on and that's what I prefer um, to fly. But when it's flying in aviation and going on flights around the world or domestic, I don't care which one it is, Airbus or Boeing, it doesn't matter. Actually, the last flight I flew on was on a A350, I believe. So that was a pretty cool flight to um, Hawaii. But yes, a Boeing. The next question goes to YouTuber Adam, and he asks, uh, what motivates you to showcase flight sims to others? So effectively, why do I make flight sim videos? Well. The reason why I do it is just to help the flight sim community. Um, I like grabbing products, um, reviewing them, and actually letting you know um, what do I think is worth value for money. I want to be able to save you money. I don't want you going out there buying rubbish. And I'll tell you what, all the products is pretty much 95% is all purchased by myself. So I will tell you what I think. If I think it's rubbish, I'll let you know it's rubbish. If I think it's good, I'll let you know it's good and it's worth um, picking up and it's value for money. So it's more about an education piece um, to the community to go, hey, this is good, this is not good. And I have an absolute ball of making uh, the content uh, for you guys. So that's the reason why I make uh, videos for Flight Sim. The next question goes to RC Minds and he asks, what's your favorite modern airliner? I guess, well, my favorite modern airliner would have to be the, nowadays, the 737. So. Absolutely awesome aircraft. It's a utility aircraft all around the world it's used by many airlines. Um, my favorite before that was the 747 Queen of the Skies. Of Blast Aviation asks, what aircraft do you fly in real life? So I'm currently flying the Sling 2. I'm actually doing my uh, pilot certificate now for recreation and down at my local airport, Calandra. Uh, with a flight school called a go flight. Actually, I'll leave my um, first landing in the solo flight there so you guys can have a quick look. It was a bit of a, bit of a floater, but we got there. So um, I nearly finished it, but obviously things are slowed down a little bit on my end because um, of this COVID-19 stuff. But Sling 2, um, absolutely love it. And I'm missing being up in the air at the moment. So I'll see you guys soon down at go fly. The next question goes to DL089 and they ask, well, would a flight throttle quadrant make flight sim more enjoyable or would a yoke and rudder be enough for 
beginner. So if you want something basic, you can pick up a, a joystick, um, you know, less than 100 bucks. I use this Thrustmaster Hotas over here for um, space simian, but you can use it for slot, flight simian as well. But if you want a yoke and you want something decent quality, maybe the honeycomb yoke that came out um, late last year. I've done a video, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check that out. That's worth picking it up. But um, get what you, you can mostly afford is probably my answer because it makes a massive difference. So last year I moved, actually the year before, I moved um, from SciTech gear all the way up to a virtual fly, which pretty much is the most premium product. And I've been using them for 12 months and I'll tell you what, I haven't looked back. They are one of the most expensive, but I'll tell you what, they're worth every cent and it works as good as the day um, that I actually picked it up. Danny G asks, when did you start flight simming and which sim games did you play? So when I started first flight simming, I think it was flight sim two or three. So that like, long ago on this old uh, dodgy computer, well, it was probably steady up back in those days um, and we're just using keyboard um, to control the, the aircraft. You pretty much couldn't tell what you were doing. So, and then from then on, I picked up every single um, Microsoft flight simulator along the way. Marcos asks, do you play any other games? Well, for sure I do. Um, I've been predominantly flight sim. I spend like 75% of my time when it comes to games or simming, but I do play um, anything sort of racing. So uh, Formula One, and I do have other interest in space and anything of like that sort of thing. So Star Citizen, I've been following that since day dot. One day we'll have a game, so that'll be cool. But that's what I use that for over there. Maybe some Elite Dangerous, so anything to that. I also have a wheel, do American Truck Sim. Um, so all of that sort of stuff I do for a bit of fun, but there are all the different games um, that I use or play when I'm not um, simming. So moving on to Microsoft Flight Simulator, I'm gonna answer a couple of questions there. And pretty much a lot of the questions were just asked over and over and over. So I understand there's not much information out in these types of questions, but I'll answer them if I can and if I can't, well, you, we all have to wait, including myself, to find out the answer. So the first one is um, Liam. Liam asks, what's my thought on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020? So my thoughts are, it's absolutely amazing. I think it's fantastic that they're coming back into the community. Um, I think it's gonna upset and disrupt the community in whatever way. Some of it's gonna be good, some of it's gonna be bad, but we'll, we'll, we will find out as um, we go along. I think competition um, will drive some more innovation and we'll see the other sims such as Prepared and also X-Plane even things like infinite flight, all that sort of step up a gear, and that will be good for us as flight simmers. So I don't think the market is not saturated. I think having, and having um, three core sims out there, I think it's it's okay. So having Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, X-Plane 11, and prepared. And this gives the option to have um, a lot of new simmers come into the market, especially when they're looking at doing multi-platform as into the Xbox. We'll see some people that have never seen simming before or been involved with it be able to to um, share the experiences that we do as well. So I think it's great. The next question is by Tom, and I got asked this a bunch of times, is what specs are required to run the new Microsoft Flight Team? I have no idea, no one does. The only people that know what that answer is would be the guys that are doing the alpha would have some sort of idea and the developers. Other than that, people like you or me, we have a no idea. So um, once we do, I'll definitely make a video about it and it will be on the channel here. And one of the other questions I got asked a billion times was the price. How much is um, Microsoft Flight Simulator gonna be? I have no idea either. But I tell you what, when I do find out, I will make a video on it. None of that information is um, released. There's a lot of talk about, um, is it gonna be a subscription service? There's a lot of talk about um, is it just going to be a price and is it going to be between 60 and 90? Absolutely have no idea. But when they release that information, um, we will have a video about it and we'll talk about it and we'll, we'll see how much is it going to cost. Is it going to be value for money? But at this stage, I have no idea. And the last question I get asked most of all when it comes to any video, any comment on YouTube is when is a Microsoft Flight Simulator going to be released? Well, I tell you what. I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Does anybody know when it's going to come out? No, but the guys at Asobo do, but I have no idea. They do have a save to date coming up at the end of April. Maybe they're going to release the information there, but I don't know. But as soon as we do find out, I'll let you guys know on a video 
um, here. But I do get asked another question, what do you think, is the coronavirus going to be delaying it? Yeah, probably, of course it is. Yeah, it's going to delay some matters that they're probably working on, but I tell you what, they're still developing behind the scenes, they're still releasing updates and content for us to view, and I thank the team very much for keeping us up to date, because I tell you what, there's a lot of AAA titles that don't do that, and they're involving um, the community and sort of giving us some insight of how, how the development's going. So, well done to you guys, but yeah, I have no idea when it's going to um, come out. So that's the end of the Q&A. Hopefully you got to know me just a little bit when it comes to flight simming or aviation. Um, I'd like to thank all of you for all your views, your uh, subscriptions. Um, also the members, thank you very much for um, all the extra support that you guys um, put into the channel. It's much appreciated. Also, we have a merch now. So Oz Flight Simmer t-shirts, there you go, shameless plug. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to pick up a shirt or a mug and help support me so I can keep purchasing at different things to make the videos better or also different products to review for you guys. So stay tuned in a couple of days. We'll have another video out and thank you very much everybody. Stay at home, be safe and we will see you on the next video.